In this case, the clearest evidence of the events in the alley come from two closed circuit camera digital recordings. It appears that the officer was speaking to the man when the man used his right arm and punched the officer on the left side of his head. The officer at that point drew his police baton and struck the man on the left wrist area. As the officer then raised the baton, the man reached with his right hand and ultimately produced a long silver or white looking object that appeared to be or looked like a pipe. The officer dropped his baton at that point and drew his service pistol, pointing it at the man. The man raised the weapon or the pipe up above his head in a threatening manner. At that point, the officer discharged his firearm at the same time as the man threw the, the pipe object at the officer. The evidence clearly establishes that the officer discharged his firearm four times with two of the shots striking the man. Officers immediately provided emergency medical care until emergency medical services could arrive. He was treated on scene by EMS and transported to hospital where he underwent emergency surgery. The man survived his injuries. However, one bullet entered his lower left chest wall, struck a lung, and tragically became lodged in his spine, which has resulted in a permanent disability and confi confinement to a wheelchair. An officer is entitled to use force to do what is required by law, so long as no more force than necessary is used to achieve the purpose. As such, the officer's use of lethal force was reasonable, notwithstanding uh, the terrible consequences of the shooting. 